Quartermaster, what up? Lady Desardi, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. It is I. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Obviously not. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. Hmm. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But what? the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, mm. but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, no. Uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, <laughs> uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the aisle on the next ship. Marvelous. What is the well, cargo? I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay. Okay. This is one of the more prominent pieces of concept art of the game, by the way. I just realized it after seeing it and then running away. It's nice. It's nice. Nice piece of art. Okay. Let's piece out of here. Let's not piece out of here. Maybe there's something to loot. Up, up. Nope. Yeah, that. That right there is what I'm after. That's the good shit. Okay, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, okay, it's a, it's a villain's den. I guess we're gonna pay that place a visit quickly. <laughs> God, really? They're just gonna label it as that? I mean, how can I not? Constantine. Oh. That's him. Do you hear that? Yes. That's Constantine's voice. It's coming from the upper floor. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. Oh, say no more. Should we try sneak? I actually don't know if we can, but I did discover that the sneak button was a thing. So why don't we try? He's like, hey, I'd like to sneak around. Let's sneak around. Can you? Maybe he shouldn't come with me. Maybe he should not come with me. What is this? We'll use this door. Destroy. Level 1 science. Alchemy. Destroy. It's not possible just now. Ah, of course not. It's blocked. What? What? Well, then how do I get in there? That's a big fat question mark. It's blocked. Okay. Not this way, apparently. You know, one thing I'll say about this game is that I, I, I actually would have liked it if they had some other, like, animation or reaction when your character ran into a wall. You know? Like, your character puts her hands against the wall or, like... Oh, I have to go this way. Just something. Something. Doesn't really matter what. It's a minor thing. It's, it's really not that important, but would have felt pretty good. Okay, enemy detection. When the player is in stealth mode near enemies, a detection indicator will appear above their heads. If your presence is detected, the indicator will fill up until you are perceived as dangerous, which will trigger combat. Indicator has two states. Suspicious is yellow. Detected is red. Oh my 
God, I'm so good at sneaking. Yes. Oh my God. Where is he? I, I think he was above. I think the window up at the top. So we're going to go up first and we'll go down after. <laughs> is that a cleaver? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Key to his cell. I meant to come here first. Damn, the artwork in this game is sick. That's really nice. I hope me dawdling to look at the art isn't going to cost me this. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress. Constantine, it's me, my fair cousin. Oh, <laughs> my lucky star. <laughs> to pull me out of my fires. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares oh my about God. you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? Suddenly you? depressing. He's ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. Companion equipment. Select Constantine from the inventory screen, left and right. Uh, equip him with his outfit. Okay. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been reasonable, sir. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt. It is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Does it matter what we do? Is what I want to know. Oh my god, I actually get to equip them completely? So what does this guy do? What what like what class is he? What is his what is his deal like that? He's got a bandit's hat on. Why is that considered a bandit? Oh, because the one side is down. Is that the sign of banditry? Constantin. Alright. It's whatever. Find his clothes and bring them to him? I think I... Have I? Have I? I mean... No one seems to be here, so we can have a look around. Like, I get experience... For killing these guys. What do I get for not killing them? I don't think I get shit for not killing them. Oh. Is that his outfit? It's the same. Oh, I get inexperience for not killing them. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad how true that is. Because I don't get to stretch my legs a little in the combat system, you know? I don't get to practice more with it. I don't get anything, really. Okay, can I look in this? This is where he was, right? Is this where he was? I don't know. Alright. No, this is... No. God. Where was he? Who was in here? Ah, there we go. Alchemical preparation of their mental damage. I think I have a few of those now. Okay. We're going to enter crouch mode. A to the K to the A sneak mode. I'm going to go down here. 
You can check it out. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if any of my companions could maybe like open that up. Serene criminal's key. Oh, I can just leave. Oh my god, man. This is it's so tempt. Okay, let's this is this is how we're going to do it. Okay, we're back outside, right? We're leaving. We've escaped. Technically, that's it. Job done, right? We've made it. Are we out? Guys? Oh. I mean, it's not saying anything. Okay, so we're out. Now we can sneak back in and kill them. Because I want the experience. That's the deal. That's where we at with the... And there's loot over there. It's two guys! Is it just two guys? Oh, there's, a, oh, there's two more up here. Oh, it's four guys. We are three. Can I do a sneak attack? Oh man, I ripped those guys. I ripped those guys. Mm. That was actually satisfying. That was really fun. Okay. The rifle is so good. Yeah, I think it's pretty strong. Do you need something? I don't need anything. I must leave you. You're standing on my loot. Need to tell you that. Bandit's hat. Okay, we can look like a band of bandits. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We can all equip that little... Wait, should I? No, we're done. Okay. He needs more aggro lines. I agree. I feel like him saying that same line over and over again is going to get a little frustrating. Beast essence. That's the good stuff right there. I can tell. I think the combat's actually going to be kind of fun. Now, one thing that's not been very gratifying is leveling. So, oh my god. I take that back. What the hell is this? It's just the talents and the attributes. Never mind. There are skills. Yeah, the combat does seem good. But what is this now? One-handed blade. Firearms. Traps. Divine magic ring. And stasis. Completely immobilize the enemy. What? Dude, what is this? Path of Exile? <laughs> it's pretty impressive, actually. So I think we're going to go with firearms immediately. Precise calibration. Damage plus 20%. Wait, do I need to pick this first? We already have it. Reset skills. It uses a memory crystal. Destructive shot. Fires. Uh, firearms destroy more armor. Stun 25%. Allow the use of rifles instead of pistols. What? I swear I had... Huh? I think... What? I'm, I'm using the rifle right now, aren't I? Wait, so where's two-handed weapons? Roll. Anointed weapons. What? Long blades. Fury. What's fury? Cry of rage. Greatly increases attack speed and combo speed. Two-handed heavy weapons. Magic healing. What is long blade? Allow, allows the use... Hello, wait. Of two-handed blades. Oh, see, I wouldn't mind that. Anointed weapons. Bomb. Throws a bomb that hits all enemies in a large area. Do I need, like... Do I need, like... Materials to use that? That sounds good. Shadow burst. Knocks back and deals magic damage to all enemies around the caster. Huh. Lightning dash. Oh. That's kind of nice. So is there craft? Yeah, there seems to be crafting. I'm just wondering if I need materials to throw a bomb. Or if the bomb is free. Magic healing sounds nice as well. So I wouldn't go... Look. Okay. I'm considering long blades. I'm considering roll. 
I'm considering what is anointed weapons. Allows the application of alchemical preparations on weapons, which adds the effect. Max attacks four to follow in hits. I don't know what max attacks fours mean, but like, but I, I, like this is the way I'd go, and I'd be working towards bomb if I go this way. File throw. Interesting. So I mean, I like the idea of long blades, like I said, and I like the idea of uh, of just pushing the weapons a bit. So and then rolls cool. Rolls like a side choice here and. Vengeful Fury. Let's see what this is. Increase the fury generated by all attacks. Oh, dude. Nice. 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 Damage inflicted from behind. Okay. I think I'm going to go this way. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's... I, I feel like it's a mistake, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I, I think that firearms will be gr will be good, like really good. But having ammo kind of mm, I don't know. It limits you a little. But that said, if I head around the corner here and I go to that merchant, maybe I can buy ammo there. Maybe ammo is really cheap. I don't know. Yeah, man. Your Open your eyes when you speak to me, please. Or don't. I mean, that's fine too. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, quest items. I don't understand. What? Why? I'll come back for these, I'm sure. Where would I buy ammo? Probably here, right? There we go. Hello? Um. You only had four bullets. Okay, that's what I wanted. Thank you for your visit. If there's another merchant, I'll buy some more ammo from that guy as well. Mr. De Corcelin? De Corcelon. We have to go to Captain Vasco. Is this this is the docks, right? But what's down here? Storeroom, villains den. We've been there. Been there. We've been here. Been everywhere now. Cool. Okay, we we basically good to go. We're gonna go to this guy now. Well, we can check the storeroom out. Whatever that is. Or is that in the? I'm not sure if that's in the tavern. It's just past here and and down. Oh, okay. Whoa, man. This looks really nice. Here's the storeroom. You've reached your destination. Damn straight. Hello? Hello? What? This person's got a tattoo? Interesting. Oh. Sailor's coat? I want to put one of these guys in a sailor's coat, I think. Yeah, if ammo's rare, I, I do think it's probably best saved for, you know, not, not, not specifically only finishing moves, but for the slightly more dire of situations. You know, if the fight is, is actually going to be difficult. But I don't want to save all my ammo up, because that's what I always end up doing. Is like, you know, the special stuff. Maybe I'll need this potion later. Let's not use it now. Maybe I'll need this trap later. Let's not use it now. That's, ooh. That's a slippery slope, my friend. The ammo wasn't expensive, no. So I'll, and I pick it up almost everywhere. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, man. I hate invisible walls so damn much. You have no idea. You have no idea. I mean, I can live without being able to jump, but invisible walls. Oof. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hawthorne. I need to get into crafting. Not going to make the mistake of not getting into crafting at all. This guy looks important. I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Why are we taking porcelain? Oh my god, he dropped it. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. Hmm. If there's an order, you will soon be embarking on your boat. Shit. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. The Have cabin boy. We will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. Huh. It's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask? F fear you something you? bad. Could you report it to me? He's on the verge of sounding Irish. A clear mind. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, buckle in, guys. Here we go. Buckle in. Hey, Sticky Toss Squid, good night, man. Thanks for dropping in. As always, it was a pleasure. Let's ask about the cabin boy. Oof, that's a sub. That's a sub menu. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock, but the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norths, you mean? I don't think so. But it's difficult to be sure. Hmm. Who is close friends? This Jonas. Does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. I like his accent. I do. Uh, ask about the heretics. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why hmm. I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Talk to him openly about your mission. Uh, he seems like a really honest guy, and he does seem to care about his crew and his ship, and he's probably also a reasonable man. Let's a go. A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far too discreet. Hmm. They're making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Norths have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. Yeah. Oh. That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. I get what you're saying, man. I understand. Help on the merchandise. I have a favor to ask. Here we go. Leave. I'm all lit. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't oh. go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. 
The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. <sighs> if that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 3 D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. <laughs> okay. We just we say that while standing right in front of the damn ship captain. They didn't even try with a lip sync. I think it's fine. I I think it's fine. It, it it's as Oddful says. It's more just the character is talking lip sync. It moves the same way the whole time, and that's that. It's like the same maybe three movements that cover pretty much all the vowels and consonants that could come out of your mouth. And that's, well, it's good enough for them, I think. What are the noughts? I've actually been hearing that a lot now. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a nought? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the noughts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the norts for different reasons, often from a young age. Mm. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Mm. That's a pretty exclusive club. Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tiafredi? It is a magnificent place. Wow. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now, the natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming. It will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous, but I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. Oh, that's sad. What do you think of our port? You're referring to this one. It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us not. Certain zones are owned completely by us. And maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Damn. So, I mean, I'm assuming we're going to learn more about it, but... How do, how do you stop yourself from getting it? I seem to be the only one infected here. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. Hmm. He's a captain, Kurt, like hmm. yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. What? <laughs> Come on, really? A way into his jail? Are they saying I need to get captured? Or maybe I can... Okay, maybe I can sneak in. The old uh, too good to use syndrome, Teresa. It's true. I, I I suffer from that in almost all RPGs that I play, and I mean there are a lot of games that do it right that actually sort of force you to use stuff, and uh, and then you can't really like you know stockpile them or save them till the end game or whatever. Who's this now? What does this guy want? Your Highness. Oh, it's him. Happy to see you. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsillon. My father may have been angry, outraged, or disappointed, but he's never worried about me. I'm sad to have caused you any worry, though. Would you believe that I was rotting away in a sinister jail, guarded by thugs ready to kill me? Though mm. still seeing double from last night's drink, I was preparing an ingenious escape plan <laughs> when... Ta-da! My fair cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. 
I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. You might have been from the company of bandits. <laughs> oh my god. For such an important departure. Dude. Take away the risk and halve the pleasure, de Cossillon. It is the salt of life. Hmm. I fear that some of my teachings have been misunderstood. But you <laughs> wanted to ask me something, de Sade. <laughs> See, I didn't think that conversation would go there. I thought he was about to brag about escaping himself, but he actually played the damsel in distress role quite nicely. That's actually refreshing. The writing has been pretty okay so far. I'm happy with it. What's your role on the island? What will be your official title on Tefridi? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. Oh. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, and hmm. also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. That's Your interesting. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I have no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I kind of like this guy. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. I hope that's not a bad thing. I hope that's not gonna come back to haunt me. Investigate the appearance of Nort Novice. What? What is, what is this? Uh, wait, was that perhaps the guy that we saw? Can I not come through here? Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Oh, there's a chest. 